Another example, I think, is science and religion. They're trying to address different kinds of questions, and you can enrich your understanding of those questions by being able to think about them in both ways. And uh, if they actually contradict each other, you should try to resolve the contradictions, but, 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 but to answer different questions, you may need different approaches. And whether you call it philosophy or religion or just good thinking, <laughs> It's kind of up to you, but 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 uh, but but getting these insights from different uh, directions and being tolerant and kind of be and letting your mind expand to take all of them in, I think is is a profound lesson that we learn from good science. It's a theorem in quantum mechanics that <laughs> if you can think about different systems, you need to think about systems, a given system, in different ways that are mutually incompatible in order to, to do justice to its reality. So there's the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in particular that says if you want to know about its position, you can't know it's a bit about its momentum. If you want to know its momentum, you can't know it about its position. So. It's a theorem in quantum mechanics, but I think it's a much more general piece of wisdom that uh, we should be tolerant and we should expand our minds to consider different points of view in order to comprehend reality fully.